So in this tutorial, <clears throat> I just want to run through two ways you can attach uh, vertexes on an object to another object. Um, normally, normally when you're parenting things, if I just create two objects, if I make the cylinder a child of the cube and I move the cube, the cylinder follows. So like this is basic parenting. But what happens if I want to um, parent a point on an object? To uh, something else. So I'm just going to make this cube editable and um, I'm just going to create a null and this is what, what I'm going to um, attach one of the vertexes to. So I'm just going to go into the null values, make it a circle and I'll make it red so I can see it. And I want I want to attach um, this point to this null seems to be a glitch. Oh, there we go. So one way to do it is I'll just say this uh, call this attach null is with Expresso. So I'm just going to create another null for the Expresso layer. I'm just going to call it Expresso. Add an Expresso tag. Cinema 4D tags Expresso. Opens up the Expresso panel. I'm just going to drag and drop the attach null and the cube. So one way is to use the point node which is located under new node expresso general point if you right click. And then um, if you right click if you click on the blue bit here there's a point position um, value as well hidden away. And I'm just going to move the cube here and the attach null down there. I'm going to select the red uh, section object and I'm just going to link up the object to the point uh, dialog here. And, uh, I don't know what's going on here, something's gone missing, I think it's just a rendering glitch. And attach null, I'm just going to go to coordinates, global position, global position and I'm going to link that in here. So as you can see now it's snapped and if I move this uh, null, the point moves with it. Just get that out of the way. So I've managed to attach the vertex to an actual another object, which is quite handy. And then um, there's also a value called the point index, so you can attach like any vertex to this uh, value. So that's point index one. Then this is another value. That's another vertex. Point index three. It's obviously over here somewhere. So um, that's one way of doing it. I'm just going to show you the other way. I'm just going to delete these uh, null layers back to the cube, which actually looks quite messed up. So I'm just going to create another new fresh cube. Uh, make it editable either by hitting C or clicking on this icon here. And um, another way, which is actually my preferred way, is to hit, go into vertex mode here, hit space to go into select mode. Select the vertex you want to um, attach and go to character, command and uh, create cluster. And this creates automatically a null and it sets up uh, a vertex map tag. And basically now, if we move this null, the vertex is attached to it also. So that's another way of attaching a vertex to another object. And um, the good thing about cluster is you can actually use it with uh, multiple vertexes. So that's the advantage. So I can make this cylinder editable. Uh, select all the top vertices and I can go character commands create cluster again now it's the entire top uh, bunch of vertexes that are attached to that null I think um, I made a mistake here strange so I swear every time I'm making a tutorial like I, I go through it before I make the tutorial and then when it comes to the time, 
comes to making the tutorial, something always happens. <laughs> something I can't explain, it's always embarrassing, but geez, right. I think it's um, only selected visible elements, if you just uncheck that. Uh, character commands, create cluster, and if I move this null now, yeah, so it was basically I think it wasn't selecting the back vertices. And then, um, I think I should be able to modify the cylinder if I go back using the knife tool, put it into loop mode. I think it should remember my cluster regardless of uh, later modifications. Or not. Oh no, it worked. It seems to have. Vertexes seem to have moved. Yeah, so it's best to build your geometry before you kind of start attaching vertexes and stuff. But anyway, that's just a quick one to show you uh, two methods of attaching vertexes, constraining vertexes to uh, other objects. Thanks for watching.